Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Let's Play Exile Escape from the Pit. I am backwards at Toucan as always. Um, today, I'm actually going to be doing this episode in a couple parts. If I can manage it, three would be nice, but um, I don't know. Um, what I'm actually going to do today is go and show you the Nephilim Fort that the guard captain in Dovno was talking about. Um, actually, last episode, we touched on how they apparently had kept two um, Nephilim captive in the jail cells there in Dovno, and I managed to actually um, get into those rooms using, well, you can't really see it here, but the unlock spell. Um, it's one of the third level spells to get to the door. And um, one of the rooms, one of them in the film is dead, starved to death. There's a little action point in there to tell you that. Another one has in the film that you can talk to, though he doesn't really give you much information. He just says that I will be avenged and that you're all going to die, so now leave me alone. And yeah. Uh, I also did a little more training. So as you can see, um, my party is actually starting to get a little uneven when it comes to leveling because my first character is level 5, then level 4, level 4. Uh, level 5 again, then I went to level 3, and my final character is level 3. Um, like I mentioned before, when it comes to leveling, like it can get um, pretty hectic at times. Um, I'm not going to really try and catch everyone up and keep everyone the same level, because that just ends up being too hard, because you have to like sit there and have that character basically attack, and, and so that they do the final blow to get the majority of the experience. Um, Okay, I don't have any bows for him. I have one arrow. Um, that's probably not good. I'll actually go back and get more. I also picked up some toadstools, which are, you can actually use there, and like an alchemical item, and you can mix them and do cool stuff with them. Like make potions or whatever. But I'm actually going to, before I venture off, I want to get some arrows for my thief. Done and done. So let us go back. Leave Dovno. Ah. And now let us go travel north. Oop. There's some goblins up. Oh, monsters fled. Okay, we are apparently too strong for them. Now, there are a little couple of dots up in this area, right um, north of Dovno, that tell you if you go to them, you find ruins of like what could have been a homestead or something. Um, there are a few of these scattered about here. Like there's another one. I believe it was this one that I triggered actually a while back. Um, and it actually had something a little different. And it said you could give you an approach button or a leave button. And if you go to it, um, it tells you that you hear bandits coming. And then I actually had three encounters to fight. One with uh, thugs and bandits. One with some goblins. And then another with Nephilim. Um, they're not really that hard. Um, but... Basically, they immediately, right after you trigger this, it'll put all three of those um, encounters all around you. So if you take, like, one step away, you're going to go right into another one. So it's like a little gauntlet, kind of. But regardless, um, right north of that, this is an Nephilim Fort. The first one, um, as you can see also, well, maybe not, um, Darkness. This is one of the first, I think the first area, unless you're going, venturing off somewhere else, that... Um, basically puts you in darkness, which limits your visibility to one square around you. But things like this in here, this campfire, they obviously shed some light. So places like that are pretty handy. Um, let me just have him use his last arrow. Now these are just goblins. So I'm not going to have my spellcasters really go all out on this. There's three goblins. I'm killing them all in one hit. That was quite simple. So let's get that gold and let's end it. Um, okay. Now, if you actually made your characters so that they can have up, well, somebody at least has um, up to a level three mage spell, you can cast Long Light, which, as you, seeing as it's two levels, well, spell levels higher than regular light, it lasts a lot longer. So we cast it. And then it lights up the entire screen. 
Let's head west. Oop. Ah! Goblins! Die! Okay, now I can't get in the room because my one guy is already gone. So let's just wait. Okay, so Philip, let's move back there and attack him. Oh, cool. Assassination. See, that's why I like um, having a fighter that can assassinate. It, it comes in handy. Um, attack! They're not going to hit. And dead. So let's get this gold and press onward. Okay. Now this door is locked. Let's try and bash this in. This is my favorite tactic here when it comes to doors. Just kick them at first. Okay, let's see. There's a body here. Don't find anything, damn. Okay, painstakingly etched in words. Ambushed an entry cave, Nephilim and Nefer too. Split up, ran lots of secret tunnels. Some hid in them. Hope rescue in time. So I guess whoever actually wrote this was illiterate or just stupid. Um, actually, I'm not sure what the rate of illiteracy is in uh, Exile. They never really touch on that. Okay, let's kick this door in. Hey, a person, an alive person. Let's talk to them. Tattered armor, uh, undurfed and has been beaten. What's your name, guy? I'm Daniel. What's your job, Daniel? Okay, he's part of the group that raided the caves. Apparently they were ambushed upon entering. I'm not sure why we weren't. Happened to the others? Others? There are about 20 of us. Wait, there are 20 of you, and you got ambushed by Nephilim, and then you got slaughtered by them when there was only six of us, and we came in, all we found were goblins, which we slaughtered. Wow. That kind of just says something about the uh, Dufno Task Force here. Apparently a lot of them died in the ambush, and all the, all the rest ran. Two of them were captured. I'm assuming this guy's one of them. Let's see if I can get any more information. No. Whatever. Bye. Okay, this door's locked too. Oh, nope, it's not locked. Just, there was a goblin in here. And there's a goblin in here no more. <laughs> now, this is an empty room, it looks like. The, the guy did say this place is ridden with secret passageways, or hidden passageways, so I just want to check. Okay. Ah! Okay. I just freed you. I know you're grateful, but you gotta move. Uh, I don't think this guy actually ever leaves. He just kind of runs around. Okay, here's another empty room, I believe. Oh, secret passage. Small hidden storeroom. Miscellaneous tools, shovels, etc. sits in the corner. I want some etc. A flask. Take the flask. It, ooh, it's a potion. Yay. Treasure. Let's go back. La 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 la. Oh, my light is dimming. As you can see, the corners of the screen are moving in. Some bedding. Oop, monster saw me. There's some monsters. Die! You are Nephil warriors. And now you are also dead warriors. Go. Oh, actually. I want him to equip some arrows. So that he can actually use them. So it doesn't just say... Equip some arrows when I click this button here. Uh, again, I'm not going to actually have him waste a spell. I do want to level up my um, last two characters, though, so I want to have them doing some damage. Or at least try to. Oh, what? Hey! Okay, that wasn't cool. Die. Thank you for dying. Okay, there's nothing here. Let's end it. Let's save right now, just to be safe. Sprinkle a little light heal all for those who are injured. And let's press on through this doorway.